Did you hear? Bulb is the biggest green energy company. Bulb is the largest energy firm to fail so far as rising wholesale gas prices shake this industry. Many customers are left with questions. What happens next? We, we have a whole new scenario that, you know, thousands of people across the country have not been through before. Do we have to rely on a, a government to arrange a supplier of last resort or do we just get transferred to any other energy company that's out there? 23 energy firms have failed since August as wholesale gas prices climbed sixfold. Bulb has 1.7 million customers. The firm is now expected to enter a special administration regime never used before in the sector. Customer supplies and credit balances will be guaranteed. And we've never seen anything like this before. Um, Bulb will now be operated by an administrator backed by government, putting taxpayers' money on the line. It is a defining moment for the energy market, for the seventh largest energy supplier to go out of business. It will be run almost like a shell company, so um, the government will step in with the administrator who will then run that company. From a customer point of view, that actually means that there is no disruption. Oh, the, the energy you're selling them is green energy. The Prime Minister opened Bulb's headquarters this summer. Government will see the demise of a green energy provider as a setback. This senior figure in the industry says today's collapse shows the need for tighter regulation of how firms buy energy. Just how worrying is it that such a large energy firm as Bulb has now collapsed? What it tells us is the most important thing in the energy market is making sure companies are prudently run. I think the key is that uh, energy companies that are uh, selling a product at a fixed price for a period of time are buying it at a fixed price for a period of time. That's what energy needs to do and that's what the regulator should be checking for. Bulb customers' energy supplies will be uninterrupted and its staff continue. But the havoc caused by high wholesale prices is still far from over in this sector.